radio scene. What's up, people? Welcome back to Happy Hour. I am back with my special guest in the building. Uh, she's from New York. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's an American R&B hip-hop singer, songwriter. Mm -hmm. She has worked for producers such as Rockweiler, Jimi Hendrix, mm -hmm. and has worked on songs for artists such as Anne Marie, Ja Rule, Selena Johnson, Pat LaBelle, just to name a few. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the beautiful <laughs> Miss Yummy Thank you to the show. Thank you. Welcome to the Happy Hour Show. I heard it was of time. Where the bottles at? It's Happy Hour. We're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. <laughs> promise you. Um, now, you have a very interesting name, Yummy. Yeah. How did you come up with that name? Um, my grandfather gave me the name Yum Yum when I was born, so it kind of stuck with me. And by the time I was 12, 13 and pursuing my solo career, he was like, I had to use that name. Nice. So. It's beautiful. We love it. Thank it's you. interesting, unique. I am interested. Now, you've been surrounded <laughs> by music from birth. Mm -hmm. uh, you grew up singing in the church. Uh -huh. Your father was a singer and producer. Mm -hmm. Would you say it was inev in inevitable that you would be a singer yourself? <laughs> <laughs> like the best. No, yeah. I mean, people usually adapt to their environment. So that was pretty much my upbringing, yeah. just the church and music scene. And my dad... He's been a producer for, like, my whole life. So, you know, since the 80s, he's been around a bunch of celebrities and being a musician for them, too. So I had yeah. to pick that up. Yeah. So who are some of your musical influences? Ugh. <laughs> I have a long list. I mean, you could say my godparents, Shaka Khan and Aaron Hall. You could say Patti LaBelle. You could wait, say wait, Michael you Jackson. Wait, wait, over that. My godparents, Shaka Khan. <laughs> whatever. So those are your godparents. Yeah. So yeah. those are some of your influences? Greater influences. Michael Jackson is always a number one influence. Absolutely. R.I.P. Whitney Houston, you know, R.I.P. Absolutely. Yeah. What When people listen to your music, what can they expect to hear from Yummy? Well, what they can still expect from me is to give you a good balance of hip-hop and R&B when it comes to my production. Um, and just a new introduction of me getting a little more deep on my hip hop side because I'm adding a little more of my rap into it and you rap. Just putting a twist in it. I've been writing raps for people forever, nice. but I'm it's my turn now. <laughs> now, Yummy, you've been doing this for a long time. Yeah. Okay. Is there any point in your journey that you wanted to give up or you just lost hope? And if so, what inspired you to keep going? Well, I want to say around 2007, I found out that I was pregnant with my daughter. Mm -hmm. And um, I was super encouraged to, like, you know, start working on the second album, put another mixtape out, tour. William Morris and AC was like, oh, we're about to throw you everywhere. And then I had to choose was it my career or my life? Wow. And is music still my life now? Because now that I'm having a new life, I got to try to, you know, make a great decision. So. I decided to be a mother and take a break from the game. I didn't want to give up, but I was kind of over the industry because it, it sucks and it needs yes. to be taken over, like Jay said. It, it, <laughs> the industry is tough, yeah. and it, it can break you or make you. Mm -hmm. So what keeps you humble? What keeps you grounded being in this rough industry? Oof. Just, you know, taking those times to look in the mirror, um, have those one-on-one -on -one talks with God and, you know, my partner right here, my best friend, just keeping my mind focused and not letting all the outside drama yeah. affect me, you know. Now, your partner's in the building. This is nice. Mm -hmm. Producer. Nice a, a lot of titles. Producer. Uh, writer. Mm -hmm. Boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Introduce yourself, please. <laughs> I'm sorry. We're not rude here at Happy Hour. <laughs> We're not rude. I go by the name of Nice Hits out of Providence, Rhode Island part of the hits team nice hits music group nice so nice is there any um hits that we can expect to hear in the near future from yummy there's a bunch of them we got that mixtape no artificial flavors that's coming um sometime in july mm -hmm. we promise and uh i mean i just can't wait for everybody to hear the music you know we got one record out there right now and the rest of them are just crazy just as crazy as this one you know? yes no, Yummy, I you your voice is ridiculous. Okay, you you have that soul, and I if anybody knows Gigi, <laughs> I'm in love with soul music. Yes, I I am. So what what made you connect with soul music? Because you could have been like 
a rapper. You could have been a hip hop singer. Mm -hmm. What made you a soul singer? What makes you consider yourself a soul singer? Um, spitting my own story for one. And for two, um, paying homage to some of the greats vocally. Like, I feel like a lot of singers in my age range, between, you know, the 25 and older crew, like, we appreciate that music, but we don't pay homage to it respectfully. Mm -hmm. And, you know, take a little bit of old and mix it in with the new to bring a futuristic sound. And I feel like if I auto-tune on everything, you won't feel my right. soul. So I, it just keeping the rawness and texture of, of a true vocal and the, the personality and vocal, that's what makes me, you know, be an advocate for a soul. Yeah. Well, we love it. Thank and you. recently you did a tribute to Chris and Michelle. Yes. As well as Fantasia. Yes, At I the did. Love Jones in New York. Yes, uh, yes. Which you absolutely smashed. Thank you. So how did this opportunity come about? Well, I have a great promoter. His name is Jay Harris. Jay Shout Harris. out to Joey. Um, <laughs> he's always believed in me. Even, you know, in my, I don't really care to be an artist right now. I'm yeah. just going to be a songwriter days, which were the past, like, six years. He's been like, okay, well, I got a showcase. If you just don't mind, just come and sing. I'm like, oh, I got wardrobe. Oh, I got to think about hair. He's like, no, I got you. Just wow. show up. So, like, Joey truly, like, pushed me to the forefront again and put that battery in my back to be like, yo, you belong on the stage, you know, and who else but to pay tribute to Grammy Award winning Chrisette Michelle and her unique sound and then Fantasia and her fiery voice. Like yes. and they felt like I was good enough to be on the same stage as these women. Like I'm I'm just on it, you know. Yes. And, and I, I want my tribute next. <laughs> I'm sure it's okay. in the works because you absolutely okay. had Fantasia shaken. What was that yeah. experience like? Oh, um, man, it was breathtaking. Like, my adrenaline was so high because I've always admired her. And I just couldn't wait to meet her for, like, two years. I was just like, yo, I got to get to her. Yeah. You know how there's yes. some people you see and they just stick out to you. Yes. And, like, she just kept, like, pulling on my soul. I'm like, yo, I got to <laughs> meet her. And when the opportunity came to do her album release, I was like... I'm going in. Yes. You know? and, and you definitely went in. Thank so you. who have you not worked with that you are just dying to do a collab with in the future? Oh, man. Okay, let me... I'm not even going to go back to, like... <laughs> I'm going to go to now. Yes. I want to work with Kendra Lamar. Mm. I want to work with Drake. I want to still work... I've written for Beyonce, but we didn't get to work together. Yes. Um, I love to work with Riri. Uh, who else? Riri. Miguel, Miguel, Turn is, up. he's dope. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll be on stage, so I'll be safe, you know. <laughs> MA just said, even with that leg drop. <laughs> he's crazy. Yes, Yummy said, no, no problem. She turns up. <laughs> now, your new single just dropped, yes, which you just perfect. performed this week. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, for Dollhouse. Yes, the Dollhouse. Oh my yes. god, how was that? The Dollhouse is one of the most amazing productions I've seen in a long time. Um, it's pretty much like the concert showcase for a bunch of dancers and singers, and, well, dancers and choreographers. Yeah. And I happen to be the special guest performer, and it was it was ridiculous. Like, they let me use the Dollhouse dancers. What? And shout out to Tori. Tori, he choreographed a wonderful piece for me. People haven't seen me dance since, like, come get it days. So oh. I'm just like, it felt good to move my body and be on stage and get in the <laughs> lights and the smoke. It was yes. sick. Now, Cuffin, I've seen the artwork, Yummy. Mm -hmm. and, and if you guys could see in the background, Cuffin is playing. <laughs> um, Cuffin, the artwork, it's actually handcuffs. Yeah. <laughs> Can you explain that single <laughs> to me, please? Because, you know, I this mean, is happy hour. <laughs> if, when, if this is happy this hour. This is happy hour. When you cuffin, it's like you, you're... you're People like to say, oh, I'm wiping this, so I'm wiping that. No, I'm cuffing. Okay. Women can say cuffing. Men can say cuffing. I'm locking you in. You ain't going nowhere. You ain't uh -oh. going oh, nowhere. I was about to, I was about to talk to, to Nice. <laughs> nice is cuffed. Huh? People. That's cuffing. And it's iced out cuffs, you know? So I it's like a it. pleasant arrest, you know? You don't have yeah. to feel so uh, against your will. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a luxurious cuff. It is a luxurious cuff. Yes. So... You and Nice, you you guys seem like a good team together. Thank Where you. do you guys see yourselves five years from now? I see it's not us, very far. Well, I can't, well, I'm gonna say where I see us. Let me tell you, too. <laughs> I see us um, working on soundtracks for movies, yep. uh, doing animations because we're real, real colorful when it comes to our imagination. You and guys sound. work great together. Oh, we work great together. We work like yes. 
I, I, it makes me comfortable because I made a um, reputation for myself being what Dre said I'm the 15 minute assassin and Diddy's like yo she writes songs for five minutes <laughs> this guy will make a beat a whole entire song drums horns keys everything in like five minutes ten minutes wow. and write a first verse in the hook and be like okay that's all I'm giving you now you do the rest <laughs> you know what I'm saying so I see us there in five years of waiting yeah <laughs> Uh, what she said. <laughs> Good answer. I like him. He's perfect. He's perfect. Yo, all my female friends, they say the same thing. They're like, no, he's perfect. He is. He gives great. A gr- great answers. But he's, he's the dude. He he's is. Dude. Awesome. So who have you worked with that you're just like, I cannot wait to get back in the studio with that mm. person? I just, I cannot wait. You just, you guys made magic together and you just cannot wait to get back in the studio. I made magic with, God, I made magic with Maya. Mm-hmm. I made magic with Christina Milian. And, like, Christina's trying to do her thing again. Shout out to YMCMB. She's she's doing big things. Um, I made magic with Christina Aguilera. I made mm-hmm. magic with, <laughs> thinking of all the rappers. How about they, Buster's made, how about they made magic with you? They, they made you, magic you with me. You can't decide who you made magic with. So I can't because... It's it's been such a long a long list of people that I've I don't want to say I've contributed to their process but they've contributed to my career mm-hmm. you know and I, I would love to get I definitely love to get back in the studio with Neo yeah. like we've had ideas we've shared and we've never put out so that would be great that's what's up that's what's up so what can we expect from Yummy in the rest of the year 2013 uh 2013 is gonna be a no artificial flavor summer i'm gonna just have hit after hit after i mean this is the hits team yes come in come in jeff (laughs) come in jeff it's my bro jeff jeff he's like welcome jeff the super hits team representative today on the show you gotta get down jeff we can't see you jeff (laughs) <laughs> That's Jeff. He's in the building. Yes. The hit white, team. White boy Jeff. White boy Jeff. Jeff. <laughs> so so you'll hear the mixtape. You'll see me doing performances. I have a couple openings. One yeah. for Fantasia. One for TGT coming up. Any I'm tours all, coming up? Yeah. Wow. Well, I can't really say the names yet, but we'll say it soon. Okay. Once the tape stop rolling, we'll talk. <laughs> you, you can see Yummy on TV. <laughs> Yummy's going to be doing a reality show. And I can't say what it is right oh. now, but just stay tuned. <laughs> Stay tuned to us. <laughs> yes. Where where can we find you? You can find me at Yummy B for You. That's Yummy B number four letter U on my Instagram and Twitter. And right now the website is being developed for the Yummy and the Hips team. So I mean, right now that's where you can definitely get some insight and keep a paper trail of what's going on. Nice. Well, oh, and sound sorry, SoundCloud.com. You could download. Well, no. You can stream because we, we hit the limit. Oh, okay. You can um, stream the Cuffin record, and in a minute, we're about to drop another record. So just get ready. I'm it's excited. Gonna be a hot summer. Uh, listen, I'm excited. The, yummy the happy hour is excited. We're so happy to have you here, Yummy. Thank you, Gigi. And uh, wait, 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 wait. pause. Mikey, Mikey has a question. I have two questions. MA is in the building. I don't even want you to see me. I just want you to hear my voice. Number one. If there was one song that has been produced in the last 15 years that you could have written, mm. produced, sung, <laughs> started, what song would that be? One song you said, damn, I wish I had this song. Oh, <laughs> man. In the last 15, 15 years? years? One song. I wish I did Beyonce Deja Vu. Mm. That's such a funky record. It's an up-tempo. It's a dance record. It's... All the chord changes, like uh, Ronnie was stupid for that. I can see the yummy dancing to that. You see the dance oh in the background? God, right. I would and get on the drums <laughs> if I did it live. And, and we need her to at least do like two bars before. Wait, we yeah, I need, I need, I need some, I need some of that cuffing. You need some of that cuffing. I need some of that cuffing, just okay, for happy um, hour viewers. Um, 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 uh, uh, let me see. I'm what putting part? you on the spot, yummy. Okay. If they don't understand why I love you, how I love you, if they hating on your girl, baby. Em, baby, em, what's gonna come between us? Baby, nothing, baby, nothing. You're second to none. You're number one. So I'm cuffing. Woo! <laughs> oh, they, they are cuffing. That was Yummy Bingham. Thank you. And she just put it down on the radio show. Maybe right, guys. Get a pop and yeah. come back. She is coming back. <laughs>
<laughs> Thank you, Yummy. Thank you, Gigi. All right, party now people. For our feature presentation. We're going straight to break. Uh, yeah. It's happy hour. Stay tuned.